guys today i'm going to uh, you know demonstrate that how we can use the local storage and session storage in uh, using html5 actually uh, local storage uh, and uh, uh, session storage are used over the cookies actually cookies have some you know limitations to uh, to implement like uh, cookies are able to store only four bytes of data and if you want to store more than four bytes then you can't do this using the cookies and each and every web request or you know you are on the each and every new url the cookies value are transferred to the server that is a drawback of the if trans server doesn't want to get the cookies data in that condition you are transferring it and the network load is also increased through the cookies so a new concept which is implemented or which is uh, you know given by the html5 that is the storage local storage and session storage using local storage you can store the 10 mb data user data on the user computer and there is no expiration time expiration time means that your data will be remain forever in the user computer still uh, 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 still he didn't uh, clear the you know cookies or and uh, you know, clear the history of the browser and using the session storage uh, the the user data will be stored uh, only for the uh, single session it means that when user is close the browser the user data is also lost so these are the key value pairs only so let's see that how the local storage and session storage can be implemented and uh, how we can get the reference of them so local storage i'm taking a local storage example local storage and in this local storage first of all i want to check that local storage is supported or not uh, and uh, to check it we can set local storage and just writing a if condition and in else condition i will write something and uh, in this uh, if local storage is true it means that the local storage is supported by the browser itself in that condition i'm just passing a simple string that is a document dot write and uh, uh, cookies or not local storage storage are supported simple example I am just taking and uh, in the else condition I can pass another message that is not supported ok fine let me execute and see it's supported so my browser is supporting it and most of browsers support it so just taking a simple another example for example i am just taking a simple you know input type text and uh, here i am taking a id and uh, in the id i am passing the txt underscore username this is uh, my text box and uh, i am just change the name that is user name and the value i didn't pass the value and the input type of button I just want to store the user text box data into the local storage or you know store data store data and then value is store user name okay and uh, if username is stored I can take span where I can show the local storage data and I have given this name span 1 ok so I will write the definition of the function which I am calling on the button click event so just write function and store which method you have written into the on click event of the button store data and I uh, am creating a local storage variable very simple we can do this just write local storage and uh, the key whatever key you want you can store over here and uh, using the document document dot get element by id you can get the control value txt underscore username and using the assignment operator you are passing the value of control into the local story ok so it's fine and uh, on the page load event you can check load I'm just writing a function get local storage story this is a simple function I'm going to write the definition it into the JavaScript head section or you know HTML head section so just write uh, function name function get storage and write a simple code that document dot not document 
uh, sorry local storage dot dot username is available in that condition using the document dot get element by id you can access the span one dot inner html equals to local storage dot username simple just go and execute and see so if i write like uh, ukesh.net it's my username and store username storing now refresh it you can have the local storage data over here so how we can see the local storage data just go to the settings and uh, write local storage in the content settings and all cookies inside data you will have the local storage data this is my local storage and uh, here I, you can see the 3 kb data has been stored over here and the you know port number this is my local uh, local website port number where i can store the local storage data so this is the way and it's a very faster and secure way to create the local storage so in uh, another video not in another video i think it's uh, fine to write the session storage example session storage in this session storage i'm taking the same architecture ah, remember one thing if i close this browser and just copy the address of the application and uh, reopen the browser if i write again the same url so your data should be stored and refresh it you will have the local storage data so now let me tell you that how we can use the session storage In session storage i'm writing a simple script function store data okay store data and uh, you can create session storage dot set item it's a predefined method using this method you have to define two things first one is the key that is username this is the key by which i will get the value of session storage and second thing is the string data which i want to get from the web form get element by id txt underscore username dot value dot value fine it's working fine now how to get the data i'm just taking another button and uh, here i'm writing get username and changing the method name get data and I am going to write the definition for the get data. This is the function and uh, local, uh, not local, document dot get element by id span one dot inner html equal to session storage dot get item. It's a predefined method, and uh, you will have to pass the key value of session storage which you have created previously here you know here you can see the uname is used i over here and i am getting the value so exe again execute and see um vijay and i am storing it store username get username you can get the username from the you know session storage like this thank you for watching for this video and please subscribe my channel I will upload various videos based on HTML5, ASP.NET, MVC and uh, AngularJS and many more. Thank you.